Now we'll talk about converting mixed numbers to decimal numbers. And a mixed number, remember, is something like this, 3 and 1 eighth. We have a whole number part and a fractional part together. And to convert this to a decimal number, we just need to remember that 3 and 1 eighth is the same thing as 3 plus 1 eighth. You can see that plus, that's the way we even say the number, 3 and 1 eighth. That, that's what this means, 3 and 1 eighth. So to convert this to a decimal, I simply need to convert the 1 eighth to a decimal and then add it to the 3. Now you might remember that 1 eighth is 0.125. This is one of the commonly uh, appearing fractions. This 1 eighth shows up a lot, so it's just helpful to remember that it's 0.125. If you don't remember that, you can just divide. 1 divided by 8. And let's put some decimal points decimal places out here so we can work out the division. And we ask ourselves, does 8 go into 1? No, it doesn't, so we put a 0 here. And then we, then we put our decimal point right above that one. And then we say, how many times does 8 go into 10? Well, 8 goes into 10 one time, and we multiply 1 times 8 is 8, and we subtract, we get a 2. 10 minus 8 is 2, then we bring down this 0, and we get 20. And we say, how many times does 8 go into 20. And it goes in 2 times, so we put a 2, then we multiply, 2 times 8 is 16, we subtract, 20 minus 16 is 4, then we bring down this 0, so we have 40, and 8 goes into 40 exactly 5 times, so you're done, 0.125. You could multiply 8 times 5 is 40 and subtract and get 0, but you're done at that point, 0.125. So 1 eighth is equal to 0.125. So 3 plus 1 eighth has to be 3.125. And that's my answer. 3 and 1 eighth has been converted to a decimal number, 3.125. Let's look at another example. Suppose we're told to convert 5 and 1 sixth to a decimal. Well, we recognize that 5 and 1 sixth is the same as 5 plus 1 sixth, and we need to convert this 1 sixth to a decimal. So let's divide. 1 divided by 6, and we'll put some zeros out here. Well, 6 doesn't go into 1, so we look at the next two digits, 10. We're going to have a, a decimal point right there above that one, and 6 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. We subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4. And then we bring down this 0, and that's 40. Now we ask, 6 goes into 40 how many times? And it's 6. And then we multiply. 6 times 6 is 36. 40 minus 36 is 4. And then we bring down this 0. And we have a 40 again. So we're asking the same question again. 6 goes into 40 how many times? And the answer is 6, so we put another 6 up here. And 6 times 6 is 36. When we subtract, we get 4. I can add another 0 right here and bring this down so I have a 40 again. But you see this process repeating. I have a 40 every single time after the subtraction. And every single time I'm asking myself, how many times does 6 go into 40? And the answer is always 6, so these 6s are going to keep repeating. So 5 plus 1 sixth is 5 plus this number. And I'll write it like this, 5.16. And you could write your 6s and put the dots. I like this notation better, 5.16 repeating. Put the bar over the 6, indicating that the 6 repeats. So that's how to convert a fraction, or excuse me, a mixed number into a decimal. Realize that the fractional part is exactly that, a fraction. Convert the fraction to a decimal and add that to the whole number part and you have your answer.